let's delve into the timeless 1931 vampire classic. This film brought the chilling tale to life on the big screen. As we explore, get ready for surprising, amusing, and even poignant facts along the way. Stick around because there's plenty to uncover. Now, this movie has left an impact on many. Have you ever had a personal experience with it? We'll share your stories below. We'd love to hear how it has influenced your life. Among the characters in the story, which one stood out to you the most? Let us know your favorite role. So, what's your fondest memory related to this cinematic gem? Whether it's a spooky Halloween night or a memorable movie marathon with friends, share your experiences with us. Stay tuned for more insights and trivia about this film. There's plenty more to discover. Welcome to the world of vampires. In a classic film from 1931 directed by Todd Browning, we're drawn into a tale of horror that sets the stage for the genre. Similar to other monster movies of its time, this one uses impressive camera work to create a spooky atmosphere. As we journey through the ominous mountains of Transylvania, the scene is set for encounters with creatures of the night. The character at the center of the story is carefully crafted to show both allure and danger. He has a strong liking for blood and the power to control people's minds. However, he also has weaknesses like a fear of certain things such as sunlight and crucifixes. These weaknesses are cleverly used against him by his adversary. There are subtle hints throughout the film that build tension like the presence of bats before the character appears. While the movie may not move at the pace we're used to today, its deliberate unfolding adds to its eerie charm. Despite its flaws, this movie remains a classic in the horror genre, largely due to the performance of the lead actor. This portrayal adds an otherworldly quality to the character. The supporting cast also delivers memorable performances that enhance the story. From the spooky landscapes of Transylvania to the creepy interiors of the castle, this film creates a chilling alternate reality that continues to captivate audiences. In conclusion, despite its imperfections, this movie is a timeless classic that showcases the artistry of early horror cinema and has left a lasting impact on the vampire mythos. In addition to a Spanish language version filmed at night on the same sets, a silent version of the movie was also made to accommodate theaters without sound systems. David Manners, who portrayed John Harker, never watched the film despite living for 67 years after its release. There wasn't a traditional musical soundtrack in the movie because it was thought that audiences unfamiliar with sound in films wouldn't accept music in scenes without a clear reason like an off-screen orchestra. Bela Lugosi, the actor who portrayed the iconic vampire, was laid to rest in one of his black silk capes. Despite rumors, it wasn't his dying wish. His son later put one of his capes on auction which eventually found its way to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Contrary to speculation, the neck order worn by the vampire was not a star of David. During the stage production's run in London, a nurse stood by in the lobby ready with smelling salts for the faint-hearted. These peculiarities add layers to the mystique surrounding this timeless character and the production he starred in. In the annals of entertainment history, one figure stands tall, forever immortalized as a character synonymous with fear and fascination. His portrayal captivated audiences, leading to a pivotal moment in cinematic storytelling. Born from the creative depths of Bram Stoker's imagination, this character was originally intended to bear the moniker Count Vamper. However, a twist of fate intervened when Stoker stumbled upon the chilling history of Vlad Tepes, earning the character the name we know today. The performer who brought this enigmatic figure to life on Broadway in 1927 quickly caught the eye of Universal Pictures, leading to the creation of a landmark film that would shape the horror genre for generations to come. Despite early success, the actor found himself trapped within the confines of typecasting, longing for more diverse roles beyond the realm of horror. Nonetheless, his portrayal left an indelible impression on the silver screen, forever defining the archetype of the vampire. His legacy endures a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of the macabre. His portrayal continues to inspire filmmakers and actors alike, ensuring that his influence remains etched in the annals of cinematic history. Based on a stage play, rather than the book, the 1931 movie Dracula simplified the story due to budget constraints. Notably, the play adapted later versions to incorporate elements from the film like Dracula's famous line, I do not drink wine. Interestingly, Lupita Tovar in the Spanish version and Carla Lemel in the English version both lived to be over 100 years old. Initially, the film ended with a notable speech by Van Helsing, which became famous for audience participation. However, censors later removed it due to fears of offending religious groups with its supernatural themes. 
and the development of the movie from the 1930s, creators made interesting changes to the original story. Initially, the story had a unique twist where the character's journey to England was envisioned differently. Instead of sticking to the source material, a creative idea emerged the mode of transportation, which was supposed to be a plane with a bat-like wings. However, this concept didn't make it to the final cut, and the classic ship from the original novel was reinstated. Interestingly, some scenes of the ship were reused from an older silent film by Universal. In more recent times, Legendary Comics decided to revisit Bram Stoker's story through a graphic novel adaptation. They stayed faithful to Stoker's narrative and even brought in Bela Lugosi, known for his role in the 1931 film to portray Dracula. Unlike the original play-based movie, this adaptation stuck closer to the novel, even adding fangs to Lugosi's character. Amidst casting considerations for the role, the passing of Lon Chaney brought unexpected changes. Ian Keith was one of the actors considered for the part, highlighting the shifts in casting dynamics after Chaney's death. Exploring the journey behind the 1931 movie adaptation sheds light on the creative decisions that shaped the character and the film itself. In the early 1930s, a famous movie with Bela Lugosi became very popular, grabbing people's attention with its portrayal of a well-known character. However, there are some misunderstandings about this movie, Many people think that the famous organ piece Takata in Fugue in D minor is part of this film, but it's actually in The Black Cat, another movie Lugosi starred in with David Manners. In one memorable part, Dracula says, the blood is the life. This line comes from a verse in the Bible that says not to drink blood. It's thought that Stoker, the creator of Dracula, might have gotten the idea from an old ad for a fake cure for bad blood, which was a way of talking about syphilis in the past. The journey of making this movie wasn't easy, after they first edited it, the head of Universal Studios felt something wasn't right and made them change it. This made the director sad because he thought the original version was better. Fans have tried to fix the mistakes made during the editing. These facts show how the 1931 movie came together from the things people get wrong to the influences from the Bible and the problems during editing. Did you know that the actor initially considered for the lead role in the 1931 film wasn't chosen due to contract negotiations? Even though there's a famous belief surrounding Dracula, this movie presents a different take. You won't see the classic vampire traits like fangs or the typical bite mark on the neck. Instead, the film subtly discusses these elements without showing them on screen. There's a mention of Walpurgis Night, a term related to supernatural beliefs, adding an intriguing layer to the story. The movie diverges from common folklore, introducing unique aspects that make it stand out. 